Alright, good morning everybody. Figured I would post a video on here uh, about a little bit of time on the road with a truck driver. Got a beautiful sunset or sunrise this morning. I am uh, coming into Terre Haute, Indiana at 7.20 in the morning. Working my way up to Fort Wayne, Indiana. I don't know if you guys know where that's at. From where I live, it's, it's right uh, just under a five hour drive from where I live. I've uh, been doing this trip all week. I leave my house, get loaded up, go to Fort Wayne, Indiana, deliver the load that I've got, turn around, go all the way back home and spend the night with my family instead of at some truck stop somewhere. I had a, I had a guy tell me the other day, we we're doing this route, I'm not the only one doing it, there's a few more guys doing it, but uh, he was telling me, he's like, I don't know why you don't just deliver, deliver your load and go home and uh, get another trailer, turn around and start heading back towards uh, Fort Wayne. Uh, I don't know why in the world I would do that. I don't see any any damn valid point in doing that. I told him, I said, why would I do that? Uh, we're, I mean, you're gonna, yeah, you'll get your load delivered earlier than me, you know, but when it's all said and done, we're still gonna be home at the end of the week on Friday around the same time. And the only difference is you've had to sleep in nasty ass truck stops in a twin size in a twin size bed in the back of a semi truck and uh, all by yourself, all alone by yourself, whereas I I've got to go home with my my wife and kids and spend the night in my very comfortable king size uh, memory foam bed with my wife snowed up to me in my arms so I mean I, I get home around 4.30 in the, in the evening I go to bed around 9 I get up at 5 and then I do my trip and I'm back home around 4 30, 5 o'clock in the evening. You know, this guy he he gets he gets loaded. This other guy he gets loaded, he comes back home, picks up another trailer, and he he drives about halfway back to about halfway back to Fort Wayne. To me it just don't make any sense to do that. I mean, you're only gonna run five of these loads. Why not just deliver one load a day and go home and spend, spend the night with your family? And I know the guy's got family, he's got kids and a wife. And he, only, he lives just outside of town where, where, we, where I live, just outside of town. He don't live uh, too far away from work. So, you know, most times with this company, yeah, I, uh, I'm gone Monday through Friday. Sometimes I don't get back till Saturday. You know five six days a week and I don't come to the house but this week he's had us doing these runs that are literally they're just drop turn around and come back so you know I leave my house I go up here to Fort Wayne Indiana turn around and come back it's uh it's uh, five hours just under five hours up there five hours back so I got a 10 hour drive day in I get back to the yard with about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes left of drive time left. And I see, I shut down and go home for the night, but this other old boy, he takes that extra hour, grabs another trailer, and he starts driving back towards Fort Wayne. And then he shuts down at some truck stop, spends the night at a truck stop in the back of his truck. Now, don't get me wrong, I do that, usually I do that too every week. But I got a chance to be home every night with my kids and my family. I mean, I'm not going to pass up on that. Because when it's all said and done, come Friday, the last day of the week, come Friday, uh, 
I'm still going to have 3,200, over 3,200 miles in, just like him. I'm still going to have five loads delivered, just like him. The only thing is, he'll be home around noon on Friday, and I'm going to be home around 4.30. But, and I get he's going to be home earlier than me, but uh, I'm okay with that because he spent the night in his truck all week in the back of a semi by himself all week whereas I got to go home every night and spend three or four hours with my kids and then I got to curl up next to my wife in bed uh, and sleep in my big king size memory foam mattress so I think I can I would rather do that any day of the week than sleeping at a truck stop somewhere in the back of a semi every night But hey, what do I know? Anyway, I, I'm driving down the highway here and I thought I'd uh, share a little bit of my morning this morning with you guys. Beautiful sunrise this morning in southern Indiana, just outside of Terre Haute right now. Just got, a, just got into this uh, 11 mile long construction zone. They're only using they're only using about, about a half a mile of this for actual construction. The other ten and a half miles of it is just coned off, coned off interstate where the speed limit's 45, which I think is absolutely stupid. I, don't, I think it's stupid that they would shut, they would cone off 11 miles of interstate for less than a half a mile of construction and then make the speed limit 45 miles an hour. And it takes you 20 minutes just to get through this construction site. And the thing of it is, is between, between here and Fort Wayne, Indiana, there's about nine more construction sites. What should only take you about four hours and 45 minutes to get to Fort Wayne, takes you right at five hours, or over five hours, because you got all this construction. Anyway, that's that argument and that that uh, piss and moan is for another for another video. Um, I just wanted to share a little bit of my day with you guys. So um, it's 7:28 a.m. So good morning. God bless. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. If you want to watch? You want to watch some more of my videos? Subscribe for me. Thank you.